Hi there! Welcome to this Mendix 8.10 release video. In this video, we will cover a new sync to device capability, new web Nanoflow activities for improved accessibility, and associations in microflow expressions. And as with every release video, we will be also announcing who won the Maker of the Month challenge. So let's get started. Microflow activities have been extended with a new activity called Sync to Device, which enables the developers to only synchronize specific objects to the device by simply passing those objects to this new activity. These objects are then added to the device database and no other data is synchronized, making it a great option for performance. If you want to synchronize objects of multiple entities, you can call this activity multiple times. You can use this activity to even create a better user experience. For example, consider a case where a home page shows a list of news items that can often change. By using the sync to device action, you can easily update the list to only synchronize the latest news without having to download any additional data, making it super fast. Building accessible apps makes your apps more available and user-friendly for a broader audience. For some apps, it's even required. To make this easier, we improved accessibility options for the following things. First, with group box widgets, you can now focus the header and control the expansion with your keyboard. Second, when the sidebar menu is configured as collapsible, screen readers will announce the items only when the menu is open. And third, the menu bar, simple menu bar, and navigation tree widgets now all have the correct roles and screen readers can announce the items correctly. On top of these improvements, we released four new Nanoflow activities for web, which improve the user experience by offering more control on focusing elements. There is the set focus activity, which sets the focus directly to a certain element, the focus next activity, which sets the focus to the next possible element, the focus previous activity, which sets the focus to the previous possible element, and the scroll to activity, which scrolls to an element on the page. It has always been possible to use associations to microflow expressions, but use cases were rather limited. You can check if it was empty, compare it with another object, or use it in a sentence. However, when you needed to go beyond that, for example, to check a value of an attribute, you always had to retrieve the associated object first. Not anymore, we made expressions way more powerful. You can now follow that session directly inside all your microflow expressions. For example, in decisions and when setting values, the great thing is you're not limited to just a single association. You can follow any number of them, get any data from sibling entities, even their specializations, and all that without going away from that microflow expression. And now it's time to announce the winner of the Maker of the Month challenge. This month's winner is Mahesh. Congratulations! Mahesh is a Mendix developer at Capgemini and has been using Mendix for about a year. Thank you so much for your contribution. We will be in touch about getting you some Maker of the Month swag over. Check out the linked forum post for this month's challenge in the description. I'm looking forward to all the different answers and please don't forget to like this video if you find it useful. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to get automatically updated about upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and see you at the next release.